Today is Wednesday, June 8th, and it's currently 11.39 a.m. Eastern Time. This is the daily chart for the Select Spider Trust Financial ETF, ticker symbol XLF. And as of the time of this recording, price is trading at $34.93. And since trading started this morning, uh, price is down 31 cents. And this is the current daily candlestick right here, this red candlestick right here. And from this dashboard, what I'm showing is that I've identified uh, local resistance of $36.09 and local support of $32.56. What I'm also showing here is that this red hash line represents the upcoming June 17th expiration Friday for monthly option contracts. And this gray box, it's uh, something that I just added as a visual representation as to where I need price to be uh, before June 17th. So essentially, uh, I do have a bearish sentiment on this uh, asset, and I'm anticipating that price will be at or below $34.50 on or before June 17th. And the rationale for that position is that uh, we can see that price has been falling towards the downside, right? So since uh, April 21st, uh, price has just been working its way towards the downside and uh, had two or three instances where price came close to uh, the local support. And then here we have a bounce occurring uh, on May 20th, right? So there was a, a bounce for a potential retest of resistance some can argue that it didn't make it. Some would say that it did. Uh, I'm, on, I'm in the camp of price not reaching uh, because it really didn't pierce the uh, uh, resistance of uh, 3609. But subsequent to uh, May 27th, price has just been going sideways. And with expiration Friday, uh, about two weeks out, I'm anticipating this trend would continue towards the downside. So essentially, I'm anticipating that price will be uh, falling, possibly to fill this gap right here. Uh, it's not a large gap, but uh, on May 25th, price closed at $34.19. And then the following trading day, it opened about 40 cents higher at $34.56. So typically the market is efficient in that one day sometime in the future. I mean, no one really knows when it's gonna happen, but the market will reverse itself, regardless up or down to eventually fill a gap, right? So could this be the start for price to pull back to fill this gap and then run right back up to retest 36.10? It's possible, it's possible, but um, this is a factor, but it's not really, a significant factor that's making uh, a large uh, sway into my bearish position. What actually convinced me from my perspective to take a short position is that using this candlestick right down here from May 19th, uh, because this candlestick has a lowest, uh, a lower low, uh, not, not including the wick, I'm, I'm just focused on the body of this candlestick. So we can see that the body uh, low is uh, 32.74, right? And the low of this body is uh, 32.91. So I'm using this candlestick as my anchor point for a regression channel, which is right here, regression channel. And I can't swing this channel any lower, like my cursor is right down here the bottom right quadrant and I can't scroll any further. So this is the algorithm, I guess, for thinkorswim to say that this is the current market structure. So the red band is acting as resistance, the blue band is acting as support. This gray band that's running down the center of this channel is acting both support and resistance, right? So where price is right now, it's really hugging against this resist uh, support level and I'm anticipating it's gonna break out of it and, and uh, start sliding towards the downside. I'm not gonna say that it's gonna come all the way down to 32.56, but it may, it may come down here to as low of uh, 
$34, possibly to fill the gap, and then maybe run up to retest uh, resistance or continue fading towards uh, 32.56. But I'm looking at it from a short-term perspective heading into June 17th. So I'm anticipating that price will be at or below $34, right? So I need price to fall outside of this gray box. And that's it, that's the rationale for this position. And what I'm referring to is that if I click on the trade tab, here's the option chain. And I do have a position involving the June 17th expiration date. And right down here are the details. I did pick the $34.50 strike price. So relative to the current price of $34.90, I'm anticipating at least a 50 cent move towards the downside. Uh, to be at or below 34.50 on or before June 17th. Now I did pick up uh, five contracts, all five expire worthless in nine days, and my average cost basis is $49 per contract. And as of the time of this recording, I'm down in the trade because the, these contracts are valued at around $43 per contract, and overall I'm down $32.50. And if I click right here here's the uh, trade confirmation so this morning uh, a minute after the market opened I picked up two contracts when the premium was at $54 and then as the premium started dropping I started scaling in so at $48 I picked up one at $45 I picked up another and then $44 I picked up one more which was maybe 20 minutes ago 20 30 minutes ago so that's the status of this position. So if I open it up, uh, so right now my contracts are considered to be at the money. Uh, so everything, all the contracts here that's highlighted in purple on either side of this dashboard are considered in the money. So if price continues dropping, then the value of these contracts will increase. So it's gonna go from f uh, $42 uh, to somewhere around $60 to $91. It's all contingent on if price continues dropping uh, over the next uh, two, uh, over the next 10 days. So uh, that's the rationale and status of this trade. And as uh, time progresses, I will go ahead and pause it for now and I'll pick it up maybe end of the week or possibly early next week. So I'll be back. So today is Monday, June 13th. It's a little after 1 p.m. And status check on the XLF trade has priced way below the local support level of 32.56, as well as price falling outside of the regression channel. And we can see that for three consecutive days, price has just dropped drastically. And as I had pointed out, again, going back to the one hour time frame. I was anticipating that price was going to fall outside of this channel and it's just been a grind towards the downside significant and <clears throat> so if i look at it at the four hour time frame right so when i entered this position price was still above or inside this uh channel right here and uh, i was fortunate enough to uh get involved in this position before this drop occurred so we can see that price hit an all-time low of 31.44. Uh, when was this? This morning, uh, pre-market. So <clears throat> considering, okay, so if I open up the trade tab, we can see that the uh, option contracts are now designated ITM or in the money. And as of the time of this recording, uh, XLF is trading at $2.73 approximately. And the trade is now up a little over $1,100, of which $350 was just from today's move. Now, considering that there's only four days remaining, and if there is a bounce, let's say price tries to run back up to $32.56 over the next four days or rest of the week, then that's going to completely uh, eat into the... Uh, 
premium of these contracts. So things will speed up if price reverses. So I'm thinking about closing this trade out today uh, at possibly $2.75 or $275. Um, and just protect the, uh, the premium. Again, even though there's four days, could there be further downside? I wouldn't, I can't rule it out considering how the S&P 500 has been falling. But in any case, uh, if there is an opportunity uh, to uh, re-enter a position, let's say it does run up to retest, then I'll look for another opportunity to write it right back down. If there's still that uh, sell-off uh, sentiment in the market. So what I'll do is, <clears throat> So here's the uh, premium. So it's now at 273. So what I'll do is I'll send this to the chart. <clears throat> so now this is the uh, four hour chart or the chart for XLF, uh, June 17, 34 and a half put. So this is the contract or the chart of my contracts. So if I open up Active Trader and <clears throat> change the order to five, right? So if I ha place an order here to sell at 275. So I, I just got filled. So now my position is zero. I closed it at 275. So <clears throat> that was a, that was a uh, quick trade. Um, so if I go back to XLF. I should be out of this position. Yep. So I have a zero position. And considering I sold it at 275, overall net is $1,124 in the span of three days. I got into this back on uh, June 8th. So not including Saturday and Sunday, this is about a three day trade. So <clears throat> as I mentioned, uh, I will look for another opportunity if price does run up to take another short position via option contracts. Uh, if it does continue working its way towards the downside, that's fine. I'll, there's other setups I'm looking at. So until the next trade, I will, uh, I'll see you.